Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. This one shows you how to make an egg timer. While it doesn't sound very exciting, it does pose a few challenges. Well, first of all, stuff that I'm using, as you would recognize, an Arduino Uno board, and also an LCD keypad shield. This particular shield offers you a parallel interface LCD and it's connected in 4-bit mode. It's an HD44780 compatible and it has some buttons here, five of which do control and one for reset. Now I've modified this shield slightly because what I wanted was an egg timer and uh, it has to beep at you. So what I did was I soldered a piezo speaker to pin 13 in ground and super glued it to the bottom. So now I've got a little beeper which could beep at you. Now the inspiration for this timer came from my brother because he does quite a bit of uh, training, athletic training at home <clears throat> and he needed a device which can time him for a certain interval and repeatedly do so and um, alert him when it gets to that particular time. So he's been nagging me for a little while to solve this problem of his and this is one of the ways you can with an Arduino. Um, I'll just plug it in. Um, in coincidence with uh, Little Bird Electronics today publishing on their posterous blog about the millisecond function, uh, I've decided to employ the millisecond function. Part of the problem with the Arduino is timing. Now you'll notice that I'm not using a real-time clock. Um, if you wanted really, really good timing, what you would do is you'd use a real-time clock module which gives you the present time and date and keeps it quite accurately. Instead, what we'll be using is the microcontroller's onboard um, free-running timer, in a way, um, which relies on a little crystal, or in this case, on the UNO board. This particular board has a ceramic resonator, so that's it there, which I'm pointing at. This particular clone board has a dual footprint, which allows you to install a crystal and its capacitors, but this one has a resonator. The problem with the resonator is low accuracy compared to a crystal. So you're looking at 0.1% uh, drift in terms of frequency and it could be worse depending on the temperature. So in terms of timing accuracy, it's not as accurate as if you had a real-time clock. So LCD, buzzer, and some code later, which I coded up today. Let me hook this up and we have a timer. So the problem is if you choose to use the delay function uh, on the Arduino, the delay function delays for a certain amount of time but you don't know what the other um, statements which are executed say in a loop, you don't know what amount of time is used in that particular or those particular statements. So therefore if you just use delay it's not a very accurate um, timing mechanism. So as you can see, or maybe not, hopefully, it says time up, so let's just set a time. So this one decrements minutes, this one increments minutes, and this one increments seconds. So there's a slight button bounce issue there, but anyway, let's start timing for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and it says time up. And if you want to repeat the interval, press the button again. Five, four, three, and there you go, you've got an egg timer. And I've tested the accuracy of this, we're looking at about maybe three to four seconds of drift in every hour, which is not spectacular, but given that I haven't had to invest in a real-time clock module, is rather acceptable out of uh, a crystal, oh sorry, out of a ceramic resonator. If this had a crystal on board, which the old uh, Demila Novis do, and some of the Arduino clones do, then you can expect much better timing tolerance.